Hello and welcome to uh, part 3 of creating this axe. In this part I'm going to be working on the shaft of that axe. This is going to be a really, really, like, old, old axe or whatever, so one shaft will do. And then I've got both the key points on the fancy stuff. Boom, this tutorial is done, and I can get back to what I was doing. I will probably after, when I have the energy, is go record, well, it will go um, record my female sculpture stuff, do the high detail sculpts in that, probably without a recording, probably, maybe do a little bit at the end, shove on noise, shove on a good uh, clay stone mat cap, see what it looks like, then show you that all in ZBrush. And then do it, and then do, go from then on. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. But anyway, apart from that, uh, I'm going to be using dam standard tool, move tool, mask in symmetry, and transform tools. Uh, maybe sub tools menu um, and the remesh and product product functions, but probably not. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff as well to do. I'm going to try and skip tons of what I've written down. Okay, I'm going to aim to make a cylinder for her. Right, I've just gone over what to do. Okay, so you go to uh, uh, preset made tools, whatever you want to call it, and find a cylinder, click on the cylinder, it comes up here. There you go, to start with. This will be the shaft. Then you open up the sub tools menu, click on it, make sure it's there. Then, uh, before I forget, you click append. I think you click append. Work, work, work. I oh, forgot that. Honestly, sometimes it's just like, oh my god. Append. Oh, because I don't know. Click append. And then ah, oh, it's gone away again. And then you go to your axe head. Then you've got both in here. Don't look at it. You've got both in this bit. Turn off the the eye for this one, incorrect one. I want to turn off the eye for the sin. Okay, so it's just been annoying it currently. Uh, then you can touch it, move this around, lift it up. Turn on the eye, and then the cylinder still in the way. Oh, I'm so tired; it's ridiculous. Uh, move, move. What's that do? Okay, so they're both stuck together. We don't want this. We do not want this at all. So. We'll attempt to do this again. Delete it. Got a cylinder. I don't want to make it 3D. Or actually, I could. Let's make it make polymesh 3D. And we can sculpt and everything like that. Right, that's there. And now I want to <coughs> make polymesh 3D as well. Oh my god. Where's all my information gone? Can I go back? Nope. <coughs> so go back to uh, noise, wherever it is. It's on the surface, wasn't it? Apply to mesh. Does that do nothing? Noise. I don't want to redo this seriously. Okay. I don't want to. Uh, let's see if I can make it where it should be. To like that, that, that will do. Enter. Apply to mesh. Yeah, fully apply. I don't mind. Just do whatever. Okay. Oh my god. 
What was that? What? What? That looks so interesting. I want to keep it. See, what the hell is that? I don't even know. Uh, okay, there you go. Back to it. That's not even how it should be. Kept applying it, so I think that's what was happening. Anyway, that's that bit. Um, make poly mesh 3D wrecks that, so we'll leave it there. We need to insert and then go to try that way. Insert, then we go to cylinder, and then if we click it, I don't want to move them all, but I end up moving them all. That is highly annoying. There's a way of getting around this, and I can't remember what it was. Really? Yeah, but it doesn't matter if I move that down and turn the eye on, but the thing's still there, for God's sake. Oh my God. Um, I have to pause again until I work this out. Right, I fully worked out how to do it. I completely forgot. I can't believe that. <sighs> um, how do you scale back up? Okay, let's delete all this rubbish so I can show you how. So here's your axe head. It's there. Stand it up. Go to insert. Bring up a window. Go to cylinder. What do you do? Go to move. Tool. Bring up this weird tool thing. I brought up the wrong one, it looks like. Yes, because it's affecting the axe and not the other thing. Click this one, move tool, um, rotate tool, supposedly. Will rotate work? It should do. Sounds to me like some other people have come back in my flat. Like that. And then there you go. Scale tool. Fix this up however. However it works. God knows. It's not. That's probably this one which does it. Please, just scale. That's probably why, actually. Balls. Move it around. scale this down. So hungry, it's ridiculous. What's this one do? Yeah, okay, do that. Keep going, keep going until you get to a good and um handle height. Um width or whatever I mean. Okay, and now the annoying bit is how we're we're on move, so go back to move bring this up, supposedly, and then stretch it. Is that how you do it? Grab it. Yeah, that'll do. And then again, move it. Move this tool. That's good, that's good. Yeah, didn't expect it to go that easy. And then something like that from the side view bring it in intersecting can be done a lot of different ways I'm only going to aim for the quickest of ways like this and then I presume if we move this around we can give it a good bend because I'm so because I think you can if you go to is it scale? is it really scale? no that's incorrect let's move then no must be it must be scale hmm it must be it must be along the width then I don't know oh god how annoying Bring this over, and then bring it this way. And if I bring it over here, 
No. I want to put a bend in this, but for some reason it's not listening. Never mind. Move tool. I could go. I think I could. Um, add a big cylinder here and have a top bit as well. Really, do I have to try that? Okay, so we go to insert. Oh, did that wrong. Insert another cylinder. And then you go to rotate. I'm not going to poly paint this, no way in hell. <laughs> I'm not I'm not poly painting this, I want to go do some fun. My other zebrush work. And I've got a massive headache. Oh, I'm affecting the wrong bit. God's sake. This one. So let's circle, spin it around on like that. That will that will do. Uh move tool bring it up, scale tool I'm trying to work out where to move my mouse to to get the best impact f for this thing I know if you center scale tool and scale inwards no no, go on scale scale snap to the other angle move tool that's not snapped, it really isn't uh, like this and then scale again scale down scale down, oh, scale down that'll do move tool move, uh, uh, move. yeah move, move tool something like that, more scaling go to this end move tool center it as best as you can scale it in whichever way is wanted this is not right I may have dragged it, does it move then? drag it down oh my god it was Drag that down, and then supposedly we can just, if we switch this around to connect it to the axis, we can shape it as well. Snap it. Do the same on this axis as well. Like so. And this can be a simple block out to to start sculpting into. I'm really I'm going to risk it and not bother doing any more for today anyway, because I just really can't. That should do it. That should that should do it for now. Uh, it gives a good contrast between. High detail and low detail. I've got. To, I don't want to spend more time on this. There's no point. Um, I've there's big. There's bigger uh, pieces. This is just to hit criteria for a blog, for for like a a uh, assignment or whatever. But I can prove how what I can do with ZBrush later on. I might come back to this. I'm not sure. It shows. It shows a nice. It shows what uh, what can be achieved anyway, fast in a fast way when it comes to ZBrush. People who know ZBrush will know what can be achieved in it anyway. Definitely, but <laughs> but that will do. Uh, it looks ridiculous, but. Uh, what? How you get rid of? How do you get rid of these? No, I keep. 
Honestly, I think they're all like attached. But anyway, yeah, I'm uh that's a good warm up ready for the main piece of work that I'm going to do now. Which is the uh the stone stone female torso and stone statue. Videos which I'll probably do tomorrow. Uh I'll try and change the map cap to uh, something a little bit nicer. I wonder if I can yeah, I wonder if I can change it for separate separate things. And we zoom in. I prefer to apply separate map caps to that separate things, but I can't remember how to do that. This is that what is this? Wood. I want to have like an I don't really know, some old metal would do. Or something. What's that? Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll try and work on some some uh, uh, the next, you know, the next really good video. Make sure that's really a lot better quality stuff in the end, which it should be. But anyway, thank you.